Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? It's Trey TV. I'm back with another video, man. Listen, man, you feel me? I know I ain't been putting out content in a minute, you know what I'm saying? I had some personal stuff I had to take care of. But it is than that, man. Check this out, bro, you feel me? This is one of the biggest weekends in the sport of boxing, man. You know, you have Terrence Crawford versus Arrow, the eye socket, Arrow, the truth, Arrow, the body snatcher, Arrow, strap sense, Spence Jr., man. Facing off this weekend, you know what I'm saying, on a 29th Saturday, you feel me? And this is my take on it, man, you know? Um, a lot of people, you know, I, I've been seeing a lot of things. People been talking about Bud is more athletic, Bud is more talented, Bud does this, Bud does that. But had we forgotten the era of the true Spence was an Olympian, you know? something that bud tried to do let's always keep that in mind you feel me eric spence was on the olympic team you know and he may not have placed in different things like that but it's just a simple fact that he made the team and he was actually considered one of the best on the team and you could check the face you know what i'm saying and the only reason why i'm bringing this up is because Everybody's saying that he's more, Bud is more fundamentally sound. That's not true. You feel me? And to me, this kind of reminds me of whenever he was finna get ready to fight Mikey Garcia. And everybody was like, oh man, Spence just come walking in and all he does is bring the high guard and try to bulldoze you. He don't have no boxing ability. Mikey Garcia is the more, um, Boxing, you know, he boxes way better. His footwork is better. His head movement is better. He's going to have box pants. Y'all watch and see. This kind of sounds similar to what everybody's saying about Aaron Smith now. Like I said before, you feel me? Everybody's saying now that, hey, Bud's going to outbox him. He got better boxing ability. He's more talented. He's more athletic. He 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 he's accomplished more different things like that. Now I'm not here to hate on Bud. You feel me? Bud was undisputed at one particular time, and he did get another belt in another weight class at one particular time. I can't knock that, but what I can knock is the fact that you want to compare and say that Bud is more more talented. So you mean to tell me Bud is more talented because he switches? That's the only difference between him and Spence. And I'm pretty sure Spence can switch. But it's not his style. You feel me? So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Everybody telling you, telling the world that, hey, he's more, he's more special and he's more talented just because he can switch. Most times when fighters switch, that means that they're uncomfortable and they have to go to another stance or they see success either in orthodox or in southpaw. And then they proceed on, you know, with, with, with what they see that's working. I understand it's, it's definitely talent in that, but that doesn't make him a more talented fighter than Spence. Because if you look at Spence in all of his fights, he looks exactly, if not the same, just a little bit off. He looks the same as he did in the dressing room, walking, getting ready to fight, as he is coming out. You feel me? He's very defensively responsible. He keeps his hands up. His footwork is neat. And if you listen, if you look at what the Grace are saying about Spence and the guys that actually fought Spence, then said about him, Danny Garcia, definitely you Dennis Ugas, guys like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying that, hey, a lot of people are mistaking Spence because of how he breaks people down. But you got to look at the mechanics behind it. You got to look at the form. For, for formality behind it, you feel me? You got to look at how everything is coming to play, you know? You can't just be breaking everybody down and stopping everybody off of no skill. You can't just be doing all that with no footwork, with no IQ, with no boxing ability, without looking, you know, your face pummeled and, and slushed out. Like y'all say, he don't have no defense. The man is one of the most defensively responsible guys in the sport of boxing right now. I'm going to say that again. The man is the the man is one of the most defensively responsible guys in the sport of boxing right now. You feel me? His footwork is on point. His range, his distance is on point. 
I mean, it's a lot of things I can harp on, but the fact of the matter is that Bud is finna get beat, man. You feel me? All y'all Bud Crawford fans, y'all gonna be disappointed, man. Cause just like Spence said, you feel me? You're gonna have a crawfish boil, so y'all bring that Cajun season. You feel me? Cause it will be man down, and it will be strap season, man. You feel me? But, honestly, Bud, you already know what's coming to you. If anything, you just land the inevitable. You know what I'm saying? You know what Spence is gonna do to you. You feel me? So now you manned up and, you know, manned up and finally came up. Because you know this fight had to happen. You the one that was holding everything up. And that's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother video. But you know what you did. You know what I'm saying? Spence was ready. Spence set out a whole year and some change for you. You know what I'm saying? And for all y'all saying, oh, man, he going to have ring rust and different thing like that. Man, I, I, Spence done came back longer than that. And not only has he came back longer than that, but he's came back from injuries on top of being out for a year and some change and still dominated and stopped guys in impressive fashion. You feel me? So this ain't going to be nothing new. And if anything, he needed this rest. You feel me? From his eye, from his car accident, from different things like that within his life, within himself. You feel me? He needed that time. So like I said, man, Eric Spence will beat Terrence Bud Crawford, man. He been barking behind that bush for long enough. But now, the wait is over. You feel me? A couple more days, them boy get to duke it out. And may the best man win. Or should I say, may Eric Spence win. You feel me? And they got the boy as the underdog, too, man. You feel me? Like, come on, man. That's how you know these sports books don't know what they talk about. You feel me? But check this out, bro. You feel me? If y'all want to win some money... All y'all got to do is put y'all money on Spence, and he going to take care of you, man. So this is Straight TV, man, and we out.